Okay, who is that cat? I know. Okay, seriously, what is, who is that cat? <laughs> They're gonna reveal, and that cat's gonna be somebody. Then we're gonna see the cat turn into somebody. <laughs> who is the cat? Is it Salem? That'd be a nice twist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but who is the cat? I'm Hannah, and we are starting our Halloween movie watching, I guess, uh, with Hocus Pocus 2. We yeah, we rewatched the first Hocus Pocus yesterday, and now we are watching Hocus Pocus 2. I assume this is going to be up October 1st, <laughs> second. So it's going to be up sometime in October. Um, we're so, watching it on opening evening. <laughs> yeah, we're watching it on September 30th, but. <laughs> when you guys see it, who knows? It could be Halloween for all I know. <laughs> um, it's like Christmas. But yeah, so uh, you grew up with it. I mean, with I, it. This came out. The first one came out in like '93. So like you know, uh, yeah. As a kid, I grew up like watching it. So it was. I don't ever remember like not liking it. Not yeah. The one not liking it, and two like not like watching it uh, during like Halloween season. Yeah, and, and I watched it for the first time like two years ago. <laughs> so, oh, first time you yeah, so um, yeah, um, so I don't quite have like the nostalgia factor, I guess, for it because I didn't, you know, watch it when I was younger. Like I, I knew of it. I don't I, know why I never watched it, like, but like Focus Focus and like Halloween Town. Like those were so I, the first time I watched Halloween Town was a few years ago too, yeah, <laughs> when you made me watch that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had the same, well, I mean, we grew up in the same house, but we didn't have the same childhood, apparently. <laughs> I didn't have a um, mic on, so you probably were barely able to hear me this entire time. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, yeah, it's not that important coming from that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, like I said, I don't have, like, the nostalgia factor for it. Um, I still do like it. I think I liked it better when we watched it last night than I did the first time. The first time you just kept saying like, man, this is a really weird movie. It is. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, but yeah, I do think I liked it better when we, yeah, last night when we watched it. Um, but it is also just fun to kind of like make fun of <laughs> stupid stuff that's in the movie. Just kind of, you know, I mean, it's going to be a cheesy movie. Like, yeah. You know, the first one, I mean, at least I hope it would be like the first one was like super cheesy. This and one's so, like super like, dark and like. <laughs> I know. I'm like, geez, guys. Like, Although the last one opens up with. I mean, the last like, one opened up pretty dark. I mean, they killed a, the child. They killed the child and, like, and then they were hung. <laughs> yeah, they showed that. I mean, I don't, I don't remember. Like, I mean, you I mean, know, they I didn't show lot, the actual but, like, but they but their, their feet, feet were like. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, this is a kids movie. I was like, I watched this when I was like five. I mean, there were a few times throughout the movie where we were like. Like, this is a kid's movie, right? Like, oh, yeah, when she was like, We need children, he's like, Well, give me a couple of tries. Yeah. I was just like, Geez, like, I was okay. like, Oh, gross, <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll see if they tone that down or not. Um, I kind of hope they don't, I kind of <laughs> hope they don't either. Like, but I want more, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, anything else? Yeah. All right, well, let's let's press play. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't not see a backwards G every time I see that logo. From the D? Yeah. I mean, I didn't until you just said it. Now that's probably all I'm going to be able to see. Three-Eyed Raven? <laughs> That'd be a twist. They're all connected. I was like, I was like are we going to get more of their backstory? And it looks like we are. Yeah, because they cast somebody to play, like, their mom. It's oh, the, so like we're really good. The... <laughs> Shane from Game of Thrones. Oh. That's her. Oh, see? Some of these all connected. <laughs> Hello. Well, that was enough for me today. <laughs> <laughs> That's me every time I walk out of my room. All right, well, that was a good, good enough. Surprise! So are they actually sisters? Yeah. Why don't they have different hair colors? Oh. Different fathers. <laughs> I mean, that one that's supposed to be playing the one, the girl, the lady from Sister Act, mm -hmm. um, this younger version, she's doing that side mouth thing that she uh -huh. always does. Like, I mean, that's, that's pretty spot on. <laughs> Old, I'm lost. Then I took the Lord's name in vain. Oh, twice. Oh. 
Now I'm most wicked, Winnie. Only a truly wretched man. I mean, he's a pretty good casting for all the kids. If I shall marry anyone, it will be Billy Butcherson. What? Why me? Because we are soulmates. Oh, that's the guy who she raises from the dead, and he's all like, screw you. Does it better? No. Like leaps for his face, I'd be like, ugh. So they learn that song from another witch mm -hmm. who was luring these children. Well, luring her, anyways. <laughs> Oh, so they're, uh, their mother. Yeah. The one who raised them and taught them magic. Happy 16th birthday, child. She's supposed to be 16? Oh, I'm a witch. I thought she was like 12. Go on. They either have like a 30 year old, uh, playing a 16 year old, or they have like a 10 year old, like a 16 year old. <laughs> Or maybe she actually is just 16, she and 16 year olds is. just look like 10 year olds. I mean. I hope Ice is in it. Huh? I hope Ice is in it. <laughs> still uh, have it shaved in the back of his head. That would be amazing. He has like a cold de sac now, but he still has it like shaved that in would the be back. Amazing. <laughs> that's now, that's why he still wears the hat. My name is Ice. <laughs> Both wearing the same necklace. Well, the Last week from the same coven. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that he's like, oh, are you guys going to do witch stuff? Like, <laughs> Buster again. <laughs> oh, so that's supposed to be like his descendants of yeah. that I assume. It'd be kind of weird if the same actor is playing somebody who's not supposed to be. The older brother from the first one comes running through the door. No! Thanks to Winifred's book of spells. Thackeray. That very book no, like, contains the recipe <laughs> the potion the sisters well, used I mean, yeah. to kill Emily Binks on Halloween night, 1693. They would one day return to take revenge on all of Salem. But they already did. What's a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> It makes sense that he asked the sister in the first one. I know. Like, no, she was always calling My brother's him a virgin. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, okay. They cannot return. That is, unless there is another candle. Why'd you go real? Oh, hey, You too would try your hand at never. Black flame candles are half off for Halloween. Nice marketing. Mm hmm. Interesting that they're making the main character is uh, also witches. Mm-hmm. I know how our intentions manifest. You won't go out. Well, because you think this is gonna do it. I won't go out. <laughs> So you want to see where and how they manifest. Mm -hmm. Or all of a sudden they're like, what the, oh. Is he? Are we brought back? Like, they're they're going to possess these these girls. <laughs> We're still not going to get to see the originals. <laughs> all right, now that I'm having a seizure, can we like... Yeah, I know. Sunrise, we have to brew the life potion and steal their soul. 
Yes. I cannot steal their souls without him. Just the man. Yes, help me. Help he just memorized the, the potion. I know, right? No more luring children to their demise? Uh, no, no, they are already demised. Oh, that's a great time hack. Thank you kindly. I delight in <laughs> luring. Twas my only job. <laughs> Like, that's the only thing I, I know. I do. Out of shape. I'm not going to be able to do that <laughs> I know. quick enough. That's not six feet under. <laughs> Who are you? Actually, it makes the how close they got him to look like the original one. I mean, that's the same actor, but... No, well, I know, but I mean, usually yeah. like, the makeup and prosthetics don't ever usually look the same or, you know... But, like, that's actually, like, really close. That's actually what he looks like. Wow. <laughs> I simply wish to know why you were digging up my grave. And why are they doing a Johnny Depp impersonation? Why you're alive? Well, because. I'm sorry, but why are those Roombas sound like like gremlins or something? They're always like. Ah. <laughs> Could they have a spell? Okay, who is that cat? I know. Why can't he talk like the other ones? That's gonna be Max. <laughs> Looking good. I bet you're looking for the stage. Always. Oh, <laughs> 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 Santa's Anderson sister's costume contest. Looking good, fellas, very authentic. <laughs> 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 Is that what I look like? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he did. People of Salem, we have come to the love of a bear. Oh, they're doing a bit. <laughs> One, two, three, four. 
This is the song they're gonna sing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess like lyrically, like it makes, it sense, makes sense, but hey, they're watching the original. <laughs> Why are they like the three stooges of uh, <laughs> of witches? Just her. <laughs> there is a small woman trapped in this box. <laughs> yes. I still don't understand. Is there something else I can do for you? <laughs> it has no ears. How can it do that? I'm going to go ahead and inference that. Hold on. Move, move. Where are you going? Oh, the sun. Oh, no. I don't want to die. Oh, oopsie. Sorry. I love the commitment. I love the resting witch face. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can play the reverend. God knows what kind of unchaperoned house party you were throwing in there. And then I come home. Oh boy, her little uh, rumba. Seriously, what is, who is that cat? <laughs> They're gonna reveal, and that cat's gonna be somebody. I call upon the sacred land. We have to do it seven times. Oh, that's right. To... <laughs> I was like, you have to hate when you have to keep doing it. Over <laughs> I mean, we knew this was coming. Oh my God. <laughs> The leaves in the basement. I mean, literally, from like the first scene, I was like, oh, they're all wearing the same necklace, so like, so they're all gonna be witches. <laughs> well, except for she's gonna be the one, she's gonna be like the Winnie of the group <laughs> who actually has like powers. Doing like Star Wars. Prepare to die, Jedi Master. Jedi Master. Beware the power spell, for it is most dangerous. Power is meant to be shared. To claim it all, a price must be paid. Now she's the girl from The Incredibles. Wait, the warning. I think I know how to stop her. We have to tell them. The power spell? It takes what you value most. Winnie? Winnie? Please don't, please don't forget us. Oh, and I know, I know I was a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it was just such a weird, like, character choice that she's like, I'm gonna talk at it. <laughs> You paid. Oh, love my sisters. My beloved Fury sisters. For old time's sake. Can nothing be done? Are you giving her like a redemption arc? <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting this. Thou <laughs> art a new witch. He's gonna find a way to bring them back, but without magic, and then they're just gonna live the rest of their lives until they die. Please, wilt thou help me? I think you just called. <laughs> Did you just write this part of the book? <laughs> well, but what happened with Ali? 
Does that speak the spell correctly? The spell doesn't bring them back. It sends you to them. She's like, well, undo it. That's not one. <laughs> Like, yes, but I don't want to be reunited in hell with them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just going to be like, reunited like a... in wherever they go, and then, you know, the third one, they'll... Uh... Well, because they said that, like, in the first one, like, they're like, one of them's like, go to hell, and she's like, I've been there, thank you. <laughs> Are they making a third one? I don't know. I don't think they ever thought they were going to make a second one, so in 20 years, we'll, uh, we'll see. So it could be kind of weird if they, uh, like brought them back as villains again, like, especially after this kind of, like, slight redemption. I mean, not I mean, not necessarily full redemption, but, like, oh, some, some remorse. Now the book is crying. But maybe when they're older, like, they're going to need the Sanderson sisters' help for something, so then they call them back and they won't be villains. Mm, I feel like that'd be weird. Forever gone. Ah, yes. <laughs> well, it would seem as though their final destruction undoes all the spells of that and we're gonna see the cat turn into somebody. Oh, it smiles. Does it have a mouth now? Play. <laughs> Smile. Oh, she's you. wearing a tie-dye shirt. <laughs> she's from California. Um, I mean, that has to be a nod to the original. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Uh-oh. Setting up a third one, see? <laughs> oh, and there's an end credit scene. Of course there is. I told you. Who is the cat? Is it Salem? Can be a nice twist. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, everybody, <laughs> Oh, Is it like their mom? Well, that would mean that would just. Oh. The F candle number two. Okay, but who was the cat? That BF number two must have been the. Like saying who that was like I don't know um I, don't so, I mean so. clearly they're maybe planning a third one now which I wouldn't you know I wasn't th I was like okay this is definitely gonna be it until I saw that that crow at the end and I was like um, yeah yeah I was like okay well that crow just flying in right there right at the very end I was like that's not a coincidence and then and then they had an end credit scene so that definitely makes me think that they're either gonna do like a third movie or they might do like a third like series Disney Plus series for the for next year or two years however long it takes to do these all right let's see I'm sure there's like a million articles mm -hmm. about them already what does the end credit scene mean for the future of post credit scene lights the way for the Sanders sisters to return in a subtle homage to the original movie minus the cage school bullies we're taken back to the magic shop now run by Gilbert the Great which is which his pet cat, Cobweb, is watching over. With no one around, Gilbert's feline friend is left to potter about the place, hopping on a dusty shelf, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Scrawled in marker are the words BF candle number two, confirming that Gilbert still has some remains of the powerful black flame candle, the item used to bring the Sanderson sisters back from the dead. I mean, is that all it is? That's, I mean, that's what I thought, was that it was just another candle to be able to bring them back. Candle number two. Number two. And then he's like, number three, number four. <laughs> he's like, I actually have a lot of these. Um, you know, all things considered, like, I actually, liked, I actually like the I know, movie. Right? I mean, usually, like, sequels, like, 30 years later, never, never yeah. I mean, I mean, this didn't live up to the first one. I still think the first one is better. But all things considered, I've a lot of the sequels I've seen that have come out years and years later are always like awful, <coughs> and I'm like, why did you? Yeah, 
And I'm like, why did you even, like, make this movie? Like, it's terrible. It's not even just like, oh, it's not as good as the original. It's like, no, it's an awful movie. Whereas this, I'm like, yeah, it actually wasn't bad. No, it wasn't bad. I was kind of surprised. I was surprised at how well they stepped back into the characters because a lot of the times there's always something off, yeah. you know? Like, especially with, like, highly stylized, like, characters as these are. Um, but I think they did a good job of, like, stepping back into... Um, those characters without it not feeling like they were the characters. Yeah. Know? So, like, that and, was good. And I felt like the story was good that they didn't just, like, do a rehash of the first one, the first movie. Like, they found a way to, you know, kind of incorporate, you know, some throwbacks and drawbacks to the original, but they still made it a very different storyline than and different, like, pacing, I feel like, than... The original movie, which is, you know, I felt like they were going to do at first because when they first came back, they're like, oh, we got to brew the potion and, you know, steal a teenager's soul. And I'm like, okay, like you already did this. And then like they quickly derailed that. And I was like, okay, well, at least they're kind of doing something. I mean, I figured they would when the intro was about like the, oh, you don't do that spell. And I was like, okay, Mm -hmm. well, then they're they're totally going to do that spell. (laughs) Uh, But so, you know, I'm glad that they were, you know, that they actually managed to write, you know, a decent storyline that was very different than the original one and still kind of you know felt like um you know still kind of felt like this this franchise yeah um i think they did a good job of casting the younger versions oh i mean definitely i mean that that was pretty good yeah like i think that and i think that those girls did a good job the Sarah jessica parker one was whatever i mean i feel like you know it didn't really look like her, but then also the, her character is not have a unique lot of enough, like, enough. Yeah. But like the one with like the... The mouth, yeah. And then, yeah. The, and and then, then, then the Bette Midler one was like spot on. So like Yeah, I think, they, really I think those girls did a good job of like copying the mannerisms and stuff of the characters of the, you know, of the older actresses. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think, yeah, they did a good job with that. Um, I would have liked to have seen Mother in it. I thought maybe she was going to come back or she was going to... Yeah, I mean, now I'm pretty sure she's... I'd be not, for I, the third, I think yeah. you called... I mean, I called the ending before it happened, and I think you just called the, the third movie, which is going to be that the, that Mother is going to be and the main villain, and then they Sanderson have to call the sisters to help to take help her them. down. And so I think we just wrote the whole third movie. You're welcome, Disney. Um, I want a little... Uh, <laughs> you can send a little money my way. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I mean, they definitely really heavily set up, like, for a third one. Will, when it will be, you know, maybe they want to wait a few years, you know, maybe not 20, <laughs> but, or 30, almost 30 years. Um, but at the same time, like, I feel like things could go really wrong really quickly with a third one, and I'm like, you guys caught lightning in a bottle twice. And maybe you should just let it go, but... <laughs> but, you know, it's Hollywood. They're just going to keep I mean, they, until I mean, everybody hates it. That yeah. A quote from Tina Fey and Amy Poehler when they hosted the yeah. Golden Globes. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I mean, I imagine they're... I mean, they set up a third one, so, mm-hmm. I mean, they did that for a reason. Um, so, But then I just feel like it makes the trilogy feel kind of weird because then you have, like, the first movie... And then you know, all of a sudden it's like all these years later you have a second one and then you're gonna have a third one with the same characters and the same storyline. So then it makes the first one feel kind of disconnected because all of a sudden it's like, well, what does that first one really have to do with the second and third one now? Um, not unless they bring the orig- some of the original cast back, which they could do. I feel like they that, might that, bring that, them all. That, that, that might uh, that you know that, that might raise it up on another level. If they bring back like Thora Birch, who played like the sister, I don't remember the names of the other r- kids, but but um, Max and like but yeah, um, and Allison uh, or whatever her name was. Um, yeah, maybe they have to bring back the kids too to help. Um, and that, it'd, be, it'd be kind of, like, interesting to see them as, like, adults interacting with the Sanderson sisters, and they're just all, hey, remember you guys trying to kill us? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, I mean, that would be, almost have, like, a Jurassic World uh, yeah, the a third little movie, bit, yeah. where it's, like, you're bringing the new and the it's old like back a, together. Yeah, a nice full circle. I mean, you haven't seen that movie yet, but uh, yeah, I but you yet. know that all the cast were yes. dead, so... Um, what? <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, but, I mean, that, I mean that, if they're going to end the trilogy, if they're going to do a trilogy and end it that way, I would be all for that. I mean, I feel like... Like, they have to. Disney, I mean, I we already wrote the rest of the movie. You might as well just listen to us. Just send us a check for a couple million dollars and we'll call um, it even. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, we'll see what happens with that. Um, but, 
Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I'll watch it again next year. I mean, yeah. I mean, I definitely think it's something that, I, yeah, like I could watch every year. It wasn't like, oh, well, that was. Like, okay, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some sequels 20, 30 le- years later, and I'm like, okay, well, I've seen that for the, my lifetime. I don't need <laughs> to see that ever again. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I think it just kind of, you know, it'll just fit right into the, you know, Halloween season for years to come. So, anything else? Nope, I think that's it. Let us know what you guys thought of the movie. Uh, we are going to be reacting to other, some of them I wouldn't say necessarily are like Halloween movies, but, you know, movies that we haven't seen that might kind be creepy or, or, you know, something like that. Or dark Not or... like true horror movies or anything like that, but, you know, just stuff so be on the lookout for that i don't know if you've watched this long but if you have um yeah let us know what you guys thought like subscribe if you haven't already hopefully you have and thank you for watching